Good morning. I'm waking up this morning and realizing <laughs> we've been humbled. Last night, during a world pandemic, um, there was a transformer that blew out near our house. And so with that comes the loss of power, the loss of water, the loss of internet, <laughs> the loss of sleep. But you're like, oh, what next? Humbled. Yesterday I was um, just looking through um, some of my notes and the word humbled it came so heavy and I just am thinking wow <laughs> you know we spend all of our lives climbing the ladder of success we really do I mean and as kindergartners you want to be the fastest on the playground and um, in the business world, you want to make the most. You want to be the brightest, new, shining star. Everybody, everybody, including me, everybody wants to be successful. Everybody wants a platform. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I really feel like everything good. <laughs> comes with wanting to be uh, successful and wanting to be uh, um, prosperous and wanting to be responsible. But there's this thing called pride and that's a different matter and I wrestle with it every stinking day. And, you know, God says that he opposes the proud. He opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And I think he shows us the example of humble when he picks up the little children in his arms and says, if you can't be like one of these little ones, you can't enter in. And so, I mean, a little one. How many times when you were a kid did you hear, this is adult conversation, go in the other room. <laughs> That's humble. <laughs> That's humble. I'm not sure what it is right now, but I feel like the world has been put in a place of being humbled, not choosing humility, not choosing to be humble, not admitting our need for God, for, for help, for, for friendship, for comfort, for counsel, but really being put in a place of having no choice, being in need and having no choice. And for us this week, I want to make the choice to go low. I want to make the choice to walk humbly. I want to make the choice to bring others up higher than myself. And that's a raw place. That's a vulnerable place. Admitting that you need help. Admitting that you need friendship. Admitting that you need. We've all been put in a place through this pandemic and, and thank you, God, that we are, we are getting ready to come out on the other side of this thing. But are we coming out better than we went in? Are we coming out more in line with our true selves than when we went in? Are we making a choice to walk 
humbly because God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. You know, there's so much tied up in this. There's so much tied up in this. And, and I would just say to each of us today that I am right there with you. To be humble is one of the most gut-wrenching things. It makes us needy, and that doesn't look so strong, and that doesn't look so proud, and that doesn't look so superior. But that's exactly what God is saying repeatedly that he wants us to be. He wants us to be small. He wants us to recognize our need, and he wants us to put others ahead of ourselves and, and make them uh, more important than us. You know, I never realized that more than when I was handed a mask and I was like, pride roared in me and I was like, I am not wearing this thing. And then I, I got a, a check in, in my heart. This is not for me. This is for everyone else around me. And I have watched so many people make the same choices and I'm not talking specifically about that. I'm not talking specifically about choosing to wear a mask, but I am talking specifically about being humble because God opposes the proud. And putting others above yourself, above myself. The very thing that I find myself struggling with the most is probably the very most important thing for me to do. That thing that my gut just says, ew, Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> so this week, and it's going to be a good week. God opposes the proud. Don't be that guy. I'm talking to myself. Don't be that guy who steps on the heads of other people to get higher, to feel better. But be that guy who puts other people before yourself, who gives them the benefit of the doubt, and who goes low, who goes low into this next season. Go low into this next season and watch as the Bible says, humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God and he'll lift you up in due time. I don't mean to be preaching, <laughs> but I feel like this is an important moment in our history as we reemerge as a nation, as a world, as we reemerge. Let's go low.